not answering. Who? Jamie. Well, maybe he's on his way. <gasps> hey. Oh. You're a smart boy. Yeah. Yeah. And I love you. You do your mum proud. I am going to wait outside. Oh, OK. Uh, oh, do I look? Nice. Gorgeous. <laughs> Alice. From the on ice. Are you all right? Yeah. We'll make a fuss in front of him. Yeah, but... Oh, look, I can... Comes and goes. Oh. Oh, one for my mate. Oh. I don't think you should go to the funeral. Look, I want to pay my respects. I can do that for both of us. I want to be there. I don't want you to go. I don't want to see you there. I, I want to think of you here, at Mom. home, with our son. Oh. All right, Sam. Let me stay with a little lamb, shall I? Hey. Oh, Daddy won't be long, darling. You'll be good for Grandma. Uh -huh. Here we are. That's it. Good girl. Aren't you going to get changed? I don't feel up to coming. You don't feel up to it? I think it would be a good idea if you showed your face. You're going, are you? Well, I, I barely knew the poor girl. She was hardly my best friend. Don't you think you should show some feeling towards her family? Look, it's really sad for them, honestly. I, I just don't feel well enough. So you'll be keeping your doctor's appointment? There's no point. That wasn't a question. Dad, perhaps you could make yourself useful and see that she gets there. I'll see you later. I just need a bit of rest. <laughs> what's, what's the matter with you? She's not well. Um, why don't you two go to the church and uh, I'll see you there. Just got to get myself together. Right. Let's, let's get going. I'll follow you down. Right. Yeah. Here we are. Where's Viv? I'll go see what's keeping her. We should go. They'll catch us up. Diane told me about yesterday. Jack, I know how uh, it might look. It happens to the best of us, though, eh? What? Rejection. Looked a nice girl. This puts your troubles in perspective, though, eh? Aye.
with this, are you? I'm done, eh? Must be running late. Must have just missed one. Well, let's leave it then. Hey! Charming. Looks like a wait, I'm afraid. I really don't think there's much the doctor can do, you know. Are you saying that you're not really ill? I'm just saying, I don't really know what my symptoms are. I just feel tired. You might be suffering from depression. Not enough to be depressed about. Have you really? See the doctor. Put all our minds at rest. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm? Let's see this one home. Come on! Don't let me down! And say, not in grief, she is no more, but live in thankfulness that she was. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley asked me if I'd like a favourite song played. Yeah. But I thought it'd be too hard sitting through it when she's not here. You know, some people might say, 21, what kind of life was that? But, you know, it wasn't wasted. Because she left us with someone that she was so proud of. And I promise you, Dawn, no matter what, we're going to take good care of him. I'm sorry, I can't go on. And we'll need a sample from you. Why? It's an ulcer. I'll show you where the toilet is. Look after my bag. The doctor will see you shortly with your results. We have entrusted our sister Dawn to God's mercy, and we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 She can't even make the funeral because she's got a hangover. Not now, Bob. I can't believe it. I'm here. And this is your time to say goodbye to Well, we've got your results back. It's not what I thought at all. We have someone you can see for counselling if this news comes as a bit of a shock. You're pregnant. No, that's not possible. Well, I'm afraid there's little doubt. We sometimes have a false negative, but rarely the other way around. 
You're wrong. Jasmine. Uh, I'm sorry, I've wasted your time. I shouldn't be here. I should be with Bob. What must he be thinking? I've just phoned Marlon, but it switched off. Let's go. Hi. I'm Dr. Eastway. Hi. This is your daughter. Donna. Would you mind stepping out for a moment, Donna? Whatever it is you have to say, I want her with me to hear it. OK. Well, it's not an ulcer. What is it, then? Women of your age can often get some quite uncomfortable symptoms as they reach menopause, which is what I suspected at first. What do you mean, at first? I'm happy to tell you, Mrs Hope, that you're pregnant. Oh, my God! <gasps> I really liked what you said on the church. You can't have been easy. Where's Mum? No idea, mate. Having a little lie down, I think. She ill? Drank too much. Night before my daughter's funeral. Well, we all cultivate it in different ways. Yeah, if you find the right way, will you let me know? Excuse me. Come a long way. Wasn't sure I'd be welcome. Particularly at the graveside, close family and friends. I oh, don't like you. It's got me all bad. I'm not sure if this is the right time, but I bought a lot of stuff back. I thought you'd want it. Thanks. Get your drink. I'll have another pint if you're offering. So how do you feel? I'm not sure. A month ago, I'd have been dancing in the streets. Today, of all days. You can have a baby. I still can't take it in. All I can think about is not being there for Bob. How's he going to take it? When am I going to tell him? Tell me what? What, you've got, you've got a drink problem? Your fake illness, so you won't have to go to the funeral. Do you think that I want you to be there? Bob! Look, I send you to go and fetch her, and you just decide that you can't be bothered either. We're supposed to be a family. We were meant to help each other through days like this. No, we went to the hospital. Donna. No, she, she was ill. I had to take her straight there. Ill. Not getting enough attention syndrome, is it? Oh. They're all talking, you know, when they think that I can't hear. Where's Viv? Or maybe they've had her out. Perhaps she's left him. Okay. Oh, it must be something serious for her not to go to the funeral. Well, what is it then? What, did, did they find anything wrong? Mum! They're not sure. They're doing some tests. I am sorry, Bob. I really am. I'll come over with you now, explain to everyone. Why well, I wasn't there. It's too late now. I don't need you now. You should have told him. It wasn't the right time. Well, when will it be? Don't tell a soul, Donna. Until I say differently, it's a stomach ulcer. Do you understand? I'll tell him when I'm ready. Rest in peace, Dawn. Couldn't have really chosen a lovelier spot, could we? Go and find somewhere for Mummy to rest now, eh? Hmm? When you're bigger, you can come and chat whenever you like. I'll be able to answer you back, but I'll be listening to your every word and watching you grow up. I'll be so proud of you. Hi. Hey. hey. Just come to pay your respects. Thank you, Alice. I'll we'll leave you. No, I don't. I 
I missed... I missed so much of a life. I'd do anything to get those years back. Sure, no. Things I would have said to her. You can see him now. I can't. Hey. I can't. Take care. I'm so sorry, Terry. I was hoping to make it, but there's so much to sort out. Don't worry about it. I, I am. Um, I know this is bad timing, but I, I put the B&B on the market. Right. Well, I know how much it meant to you, so I wanted to give you first refusal. I'm, I'm hoping for a quick sale. Thanks. Uh, I couldn't afford it on my own anyway. Best me. How are you doing? Autopilot. I daren't be still. Frightened of what might happen. You found out about Viv? Bob says it's some kind of attention thing, because she felt a bit undervalued. I'm not sure he's really thinking straight at the moment, to be honest. Who is? Hey, I think you're doing brilliant. I couldn't do it without you, Terry. Jean, I'm so sorry. My mum was really ill. I had to take her to the hospital. Why? What's the matter? Um, they think it's an ulcer. They're going to do some tests. She was really upset she couldn't be here. It doesn't matter. I hope she's feeling OK. OK. Simon, what are you doing? I had to see you. Did you? To apologise about yesterday. It's no need. Um, how ridiculous was that? As if I'd make a pass at you if I was so bad. I'd just like to tell you that I'm mortified. And uh, uh, nothing like that will ever, ever happen again. I promise. No hard feelings? No, of course not. We'll forget it ever happened. Oh, I can't tell you what a relief that is. Thanks, Diane. Sure you're all right. Funerals are not exactly a bundle of laughs, are they? Just been thinking about the next one. And she's here today, looking after her son. And then we'll be here next week, next month, and she'll be gone. What's the point of that? I don't really know. Where's Alice? What's she doing now? Go on, catch her up. Alice! <laughs> just, we just wanted a bit of fresh air. Call an ambulance. No, don't. <coughs> you, you need help. No, I don't. They don't want to me in. There's, there's nothing anybody can do. Just need to get home. <coughs> Pull me up. Come here. My legs are just having a bit of a off day. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Dingle. <laughs> Nothing she can give me, just said, um, watch what I eat, drink plenty of water. Good. Is Ashley at home? Uh, I must still be at the wake. Oh. Well, I suppose I'd better put my head in. OK. You know, Jasmine, I'm not Ashley. And if there were something you needed to talk to me about, listeners don't come any better. I'm fine, thanks. 